government is going to serve in that capacity. So at this point, we have no recommended changes to the interlocal agreements. Um, on a quarterly basis, I meet with staffs from all four governments and the Planning Commission. Um, we discuss uh, our enrollment trends, we discuss development trends, where activity is occurring. Um, uh, any type of data related to residential population growth, um, we discuss at our quarterly meetings. Um, we exchange data. Pursuant to that agreement, there are certain data requirements that come to the school district. And, and I have to say, it's been working very well. We've established some good relationships among ourselves. That, that have allowed us to review projects when there is a question. Um, we, we each have a contact now of someone to call. So I, I want to say I think it's been very successful, and I hope um, the, my colleagues from the local governments and planning commission feel the same. So that's the interlocal agreement aspect of this. Um, also, in 2008, when concurrency became mandatory uh, for the local governments, we all adopted, or each of you adopted, a public school facilities element, PSFE. Um, the public school facility element <coughs> is part of each of your comprehensive plans. Now, the comprehensive plans are periodically updated. Um, I think Hillsborough County's is due to be updated in 2015, and then each of the cities would follow in 2016 for their mandatory update, and we would assist in the update of the public school facilities element as we worked to prepare that back in 2008. Um, I think the Planning Commission and I think, where's Ray? He was, here I am. Here he is, behind me. Ray Tremonti and Melissa from the Planning Commission, Krista Kelly are here. Um, the Planning Commission and MPO, the MPO's long range plan is due for update in December of 2014. And I think um, the Planning Commission is considering updating the comprehensive plan in conjunction with the MPO's long-range transportation plan in 2014. And as those discussions progress, um, we'll be involved in updating those public school facilities elements and the data and analysis and reviewing um, what requirements uh, are needed in there still because of change in legislation. So uh, at this point, I would say it's looking to me like 2014, the end of 2014, will be what the schedule are on or right after that in 2015 to get the comprehensive plans. And I don't know if Ray wants to add or Melissa wants to add anything on that. I'm familiar with the planning process. I'd love to have it. Um, so that's where we are with that. And then really the next, those are my first two topics. The next topic is enrollment projections. Um, the, the state of Florida Department of Education provides to us our enrollment projections for capital outlay. And those capital outlay projections have, have shown that there's going to be a decline over the years. Um, we're not entirely sure that that's really the 